Yo what is going on guys, Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8 and for today's video I will be theorizing about how Barry could potentially get a new suit or a suit upgrade during this season through some new abilities which we have seen him do. So yeah, as I've been saying for a couple of videos now, we have obviously wrapped up The Flash Season 7 and... As you guys know, I do have mixed feelings about the season. Apart from episodes 4 and 5 with the Forces storyline, I thought that storyline was unwatchable and I thought the interlude was even worse. But I did enjoy the Godspeed storyline despite me still having issues with it. Now, I think it was last week, but I did make a community post on this. But actually, me and Arrowverse scenes are working on a what if video for what if. Basically us giving our version of The Flash Season 7 for you guys. So we're rewriting the whole season completely. And we're on like episode 17 right now. We have finished the Forces storyline. But yeah, we're still on the Godspeed storyline. So yeah, the that video should be out pretty soon. As I said, we've wrapped up the Forces storyline. So I should be recording that pretty soon. But the Godspeed storyline rewrite will take a while. But obviously... Although we have wrapped up The Flash Season 7, we do know that we're getting a Season 8 in which they should be filming that in like 8-7 days, something like that. But yeah, they should be filming pretty soon. And during this break, as we are waiting for the new season, we did have some teases from showrunner Eric Wallace once the season ended. He's been on various interviews since the season ended, where he has obviously teased some story arcs related to season 8, whether it's a villain teaser or like storylines for specific characters or like what we should expect in general pretty much. Um, we do already know that when we kick off season 8 we're kicking off with this special 5 part event so the first 5 episodes of season 8 will have this crossover type feel. It's not going to be a crossover but it's going to have that crossover type feel because the storyline is going to be flash centered but you're going to have other characters from other Arrowverse shows appearing on those episodes. So you'll have like Black Lightning, you could have Superman, you can have Batwoman, things like that. So those types of characters will be appearing for one of these five part events in which we should be getting some promo about that pretty soon since as I said we are so close to filming and I'm sure that they wouldn't they wouldn't want anything like that being leaked. I do hope we see Stargirl so that we could open that gateway into us exploring the post crisis multiverse with Stargirl crossing over with the Flash. I think that would be really really cool. Superman and Lois as we know has already touched up on the multiverse with John Henry Irons. But we do also know that Jay Garrick, who is from Earth Prime, is crossing over with Stargirl for Stargirl Season 2, who is obviously from Earth 2. I think it's Episode 9, if I'm not mistaken. I can't exactly remember. But yeah, since we're having Jay Garrick from Earth Prime and Stargirl from Earth 2 crossing over, it shouldn't be too long before we have an actual Barry Allen Flash and a Stargirl crossover as well. I think their interactions will be really, really great. Now, we don't exactly know if this five-part event is its own graphic novel, I'm assuming it is, but what we do know is that this season will be following the same format as season 7, which does worry me because not only are we having two graphic novels, which I still think is a good idea, I really like the graphic novel format, but the interlude is my issue. We are having an interlude part 2 for season 8, which does get me worried. Because for season 7, it completely destroyed the Godspeed storyline. So hopefully, Eric Willis learns from his mistakes with interlude part 2. But before I go over anything, however, you guys, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. So yeah, we have obviously had the same suit for two years now, since the season 6 and 7 suit are the same, and although I think that the suit we have is already a perfect costume as it is, I think it's time for a suit upgrade, which could end up making the suit we have a lot better and much more comic accurate, that being adding the gold boots onto the suit we already have. Now the gold boots are probably one of the most requested things to see on the flash suit. We do already have a perfect flash suit right now. I think it's the best live action flash suit we've ever had. And it's very, very comic accurate as it is right now. But various other people, including Grant Gustin, have said that they would like to see the gold boots on the flash costume. Grant Gustin himself said that he would love to wear the gold boots on his suit. In which way back during DC Fandome, 
Eric Waltz told us fans to be patient because he said that they are coming very soon, but they should be earned through a story. Barry shouldn't just get them like that. Um, Eric Waltz never, you know, specified when exactly will we get the suit upgrade with the gold boots, but I think it's about time we get the gold boots for this season since we didn't get it for season 7. Um, I do have a theory in regards to how they could pull this off. So during the Flash Season 7 finale, um, you could kind of say Episode 17 as well, we have incorporated a new ability on the show, that of Speed Force Constructs. Although it didn't make sense that Barry was able to do something he has never done first try, we have seen Barry, Godspeed and the Reverse Flash all create a Speed Force construct of a lightning sword or a lightsaber. With Nora West Allen, we have seen her create a Speed Force lasso, which we've also never seen before. So from now on, speedsters have this ability where they are able to create Speed Force constructs and as I said before, although it doesn't make sense, it is pretty cool. And actually, creating a Speed Force construct of a costume is something which exists in the Speedster mythology as well. If we have a look in the comics, Ginger Wally West discovered this ability where if he concentrated, he could use the Speed Force to create solid energy constructs which he used to compose his costume. He used this ability to reweave the molecules of his Kid Flash costume and construct a new Flash suit out of pure Speed Force energy. And on the show, the idea of Speed Force constructs from what we have seen kind of plays out quite similarly where they create a construct through pure Speed Force energy. So maybe we can have this be incorporated onto the show, but obviously instead of Wally West being the one who is able to do this construct, it would be Barry. And since Barry is now able to actually create Speed Force constructs like we have seen him do during the finale, maybe he would be able to create some gold boots through this new ability. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a reason for his speed boost, maybe he's able to create constructs a lot easier, or you know he's able to create more advanced constructs because of the speed boost. Who knows? Obviously, rather than the sudden suit upgrade where Chester would go like, oh, I made modifications to your suit, here are the gold boots, and Barry just gets the gold boots like that, in which, don't get me wrong, I would still be okay with that, but imagine how much cooler it would be if Barry is actually able to construct his gold boots through a speed force construct. I think that would be really, really cool. There are obviously some issues that could rise with this, such as Barry's lightning being orange. So how's he going to be able to construct something that is gold or just a different color in general? But the reason to I think we haven't seen the gold boots before is that they are trying to still find the perfect material and the perfect shade because it could end up going terribly wrong if they, you know, just give it to him like that. It could go really, really wrong. Um, I don't think that they would want to risk it. I think they would want to make it look as best as possible before they actually give Grant Gustin his gold boots. So it could obviously be that they're being patient and they're testing different concepts to make sure that they have the best version of the gold boots we can get. But in terms of a whole suit upgrade, we are definitely not getting any more new Flash suits. I think they are just going to modify the Season 6 suit with the gold boots, and that would be the final suit we would ever get on the show until the show ends. For those who are going to say, but during the night Nora Allen was murdered, Barry was wearing a different suit. Well yes, that is true, but if you look closely, it's just the Season 2 suit. And the reason for that is because they only had the season 2 suit available when they were filming at that time. They didn't have the season 4 suit even made. They didn't even have the season 6 suit even made. They only had the season 2 suit available, which is why they filmed that scene with the season 2 suit. But if we were to revisit that same scene now, it would be Grant Gustin wearing his season 6 suit filming that scene. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see the gold boots for The Flash Season 8. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.